wing. Hi, boys and girls. What do you think about these wings? I am a big bird today. Now, I've been a bird before, but I've been a parrot. Today, I am just a big black bird with very, very colorful wings. Now, I am flying in today because it is day 76, 76 days. You know, when I started this, I thought maybe we'd do about 40 days max. 76 days is unbelievable, but it has been fun every minute of it. Coming up with the costumes, doing the drawings, it has been a blast for me. I hope you're enjoying it too. So today, I am a bird for a reason. I am a bird looking for a home. So today we are going to draw a birdhouse, something a little different that we haven't done before. So grab those pencils and pens and, maybe not pens, pencils and paper and colored pencils, crayons, markers, whatever you have at home and let's use it. Your crayons must be getting down to about this big by now. We do this every day. Now I'm gonna bend this down a little bit so you can see the board better. Let me make sure that we go, oh, I almost dropped it. All right, I think you can see it pretty good now. All right, let's go ahead and start the shape of our house. Now we are going to make a bird house for this beautiful bird to live in. All right, let's go down and do, let's do the size of the bird house first. And now I'm gonna come down here, but I am gonna skip a spot because I have something I want to put in there. But if you have a pencil, you can make the line. I just don't want a big line through. It's gonna be a bird and I don't want a big line through. Okay, we're gonna go across the bottom here. And then we're gonna go up to a really big point. We're gonna have a very pointy, very pointy house. Now, if yours isn't quite as tall, that's okay. If you have a shorter and fatter one or a taller and skinnier one, whatever kind of birdhouse you want your birds to live in, that's the shape you're gonna draw. Now we're gonna make the roof a little thicker and we're gonna put a line here. We're gonna go past our roof, just like that. And then let's do another one down this side. Perfect, now we have the shape of our birdhouse. Now we're gonna have our birdhouse, well let's put a little, like a little tray here that they could sit on. So you can put some extra bird food if you want to, just like that. And then we're gonna have ours on a pole. It's gonna be in the ground. So let's go ahead and put a line like this and a line like this. Now I'm gonna show you a trick, okay? You ready? I'm gonna show you how to make something look like a piece of wood. And if you look at a tree or a piece of wood when it's got an arm or one of the limbs chopped off of it, it will leave a little mark like this, like a little round circle. If you make a couple of those little tiny shapes, it is going to look like it is made out of wood. Maybe I'll even put a couple round down here. And then here we can make a long line. Those little knots, they're called knots in the wood. And when you cut off a limb, it leaves a little knot, you are, you're able to see it. All right, now let's put a big, a big doorway or a big round circle where our birds can get in and out of. I'm gonna put mine right here on the bottom. There we go. And I think I am gonna decorate my house with a little heart. You can put anything you want or you don't even have to put anything there but I really think I'd like my birdhouse to have a heart right on the top of it. Just say there, every bird is welcome there. Let's go ahead and put, I'm gonna do a sun. Now I usually don't draw suns on here, but today I just feel like it. So I am going to make kind of a swirly sun, just like that. It looks like a big, it looks like a cinnamon biscuit or a cinnamon bun. So we got a big swirl there and then we're gonna make kind of like this kind of a sun today. It kind of goes in and out and in and out. And this one's kind of like fun to make, kind of get into the, into the curve of it. So we have a very, very whimsical looking birdhouse. Now let's put a couple birds on here. That's why I left this spot right here. Now I'm going to put a little bird. He's going to look kind of like a little, I guess like a little teardrop or a little raindrop, but sideways. So put him right there. And then I'm going to put another one right up here. I'm going to put him right there. So they're kind of easy birds, just a couple little shapes to them. We'll give him a little beak and a little eye. There you go. And then we'll do an upside down kind of wing. We'll do the bottom part's going to be flat like a curve. And then we'll give him a couple bumps for the top for his wings. And we're going to do the same thing to this little guy right here. Give him a beak, an eye, and a little kind of an upside down wing. All right, maybe we, maybe we need a couple little feet here. 
so they can look like they're hanging on to something. They're not just floating around. Okay, now the fun part. Now we get to color it. So what am I going to do? I think I'm going to make my birdhouse pink. Now you can make your birdhouse blue, you can make it green, whatever color you want to make your birdhouse, that's what color you can make it. This is a fun one. Remember, you're like creating your own coloring book pages when we draw these, so you can color them any way you want to. And they could be different colors. You could have a rainbow birdhouse if you really wanted a rainbow birdhouse, but you do it your way. All right, oh my God, these, my big wings are getting in the way here. So I have oh, not so much bird, bird houses in my yard, but I got bird feeders in my yard. I like to feed the birds and they like to come around every day to see what I have out there for them if I've added more bird seed. And do you know who else comes to my bird feeders a lot? Squirrels. Squirrels love, love, love my bird feeders. And some people chase them away, but I just don't have the heart to chase them away. I figure they have to eat too. So squirrels are always welcome in my yard. I have a kind of a busy little yard. I got a very tiny yard, but there's always birds in it and there's squirrels. I have a little chipmunk that runs around and I even have some rabbits come into my yard. So my yard is a very, very busy place. All right, I am going to jump up here. I'm gonna kind of jump around a little bit and I'm going to color the inside of my sun. I'm gonna color that yellow. So it's a nice, bright, sunny day where our birds are. And then maybe I will draw the outside of my sun in orange. That's kind of a lighter orange color, but I like it. I think it looks very pretty, very sunny. All right, we're getting around there, the big curve to go. I don't want to color on the inside of my sun. I want to stay right on the outside like this. There we go, almost done. Oh, that looks like a nice sunny summer day. What do you think? Now, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do here. You know what, I'll, I'm gonna add something else that I forgot to add in. But I think growing up here, I'm gonna, I want some more color in it. So I am going to draw some big leaves. I'm gonna have like vines that are gonna be growing up. See my leaves, they're kind of like upside down uh, raindrops. And then I'll put a big line like this because they're growing around and they're connected. I like that better. Just a little more color in there. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead while I'm down here and let's draw the brown part of our birdhouse. We'll put where the where the ground or where the where the wood is. Now we have those little lines we put on there, so it shows it's like a piece of wood, but it's always nice to add the color. Then there's no question what it's made out of. There we go. And I don't know, I haven't decided what color to make my roof yet, if I should make it a different color or not. So I'm just gonna keep coloring other things till I decide. That's always something to do. You just keep on coloring until you figure out how you want it. Now I'm gonna add some green. We're gonna add those leaves there. And the more colors you put on this, the better. Maybe even your leaves have some little flowers growing on them. I don't know, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you, you are the artiste today. Yeah, that's a pretty crummy coloring job. I better fill that in just a little bit better. Okay, and I think I am going to make my little birds, I'm gonna make them, I'm gonna make them dark blue. Because I want some little blue birds in my, in my uh, birdhouse. So I'm gonna draw him blue. And I think I'll just draw him blue too. They're like, they're like buddies. The two blue birds are hanging out. And then I don't know what color to make the wings. Maybe I will make the wings. You know, I'm gonna make up my own color. I know the birds don't have maybe look exactly like this, but it's my picture, so I can do whatever I want to. I am going to put green in their wings. How's that? I like it, I like it. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go back and I'm going to color in the birdhouse door. And I think I'm gonna put like a little highlight on it that I am not gonna color. So I'm gonna leave that little moon shape there so it looks like a little light is getting in their house. And then let's color it all in. I'm having a hard time working around these big wings today. They're kind of in the way. I make all these crazy costumes and I don't think about, hmm, they might be hard to get around in or they might be hard to see out of. But I make them whatever anyway because I just have fun doing that. Oh, I like it, okay. 
And we'll make that a little smaller. So we got a little door to our birdhouse. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my, my roof black. See, I told you I'd decide by the time I got there. Sometimes I don't know what I wanna do till I get almost to that point and then I think, oh, you know what, maybe that would look good in black. Now, I don't know what to do about my heart, whether I should just leave it white. I'm thinking maybe I will leave it white because if I add red, because I did my house pink, maybe that would be too much of the same color. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just leave it white. It'll be a little white heart on my on my birdhouse. I'm liking it so far. Now I really think we need some sky. I'm gonna pull up my wings for this one because this one's gonna take me a while. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna put blue on there. And I'm gonna color my whole sky in blue. Maybe not that greatly, but I'm coloring it in fast for you. All right, that is looking pretty, pretty darn good. Now you're gonna color it better than me. Like I said, you, you should know all this that I tell you every single day. We've been doing this for 70, uh, 70, 76 days? 76 days, yes. So you know to make your coloring a whole lot better than my coloring, because I do it very fast. Sometimes I take my time, but for the most part, when it's just gonna be a blue sky, you know how to color in a sky. You don't have to sit and watch me draw every bit of the sky. All right, boys and girls, I want to see your bird houses. I think they're pretty cute. And I think this bird right here would love to live in that house. I'm sure I would. So I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Do what I tell you every day. I want you to be safe. I want you to wash your hands. I want you to listen to your parents. I want you to stay creative and I want you to be kind to each other. Now tune in tomorrow because it is my favorite, my very favorite Dr. Seuss character is going to draw with you tomorrow. Hmm, can you guess? We already did the cat in the hat. Who do you think my next, or my very favorite, not my next favorite, my very favorite Dr. Seuss character is? Hmm, put on your thinking caps and when I see you tomorrow, you'll have to see if you were right, if you guessed it right. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.